Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for uh, what is their true feelings for you right now. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, or you'd like to take my six week long mentorship class to learn to roll, all the information is in the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, we're going to be looking at your love interest feelings, and then I want to see what their long-term motives are towards you. And then we're going to look at um, some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. How does Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So the first card is coming out as this person feels like they're in a place of feeling like their hands are tied, like they're trapped in a situation, like their back's against the wall, like they keep going around in their thoughts. They don't know how to break free from the situation that they're in. This person wants some kind of clarity, some kind of answers. They don't know, like they're trying to figure it all out. Yeah, they're totally in their head right now. Um, okay, so let's move this out of the way and uh, let's get more information here. How does Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so they feel like they have a lot of regret about what happened. They feel really depressed or sad. How does Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Pisces, they feel like you are the right direction for them. Yeah, they, they feel like you're their main person. They feel like they want to speak or reveal some type of truth to you. They feel like there is something that's going on beneath the surface of some sly or slick energy or something that they've been hiding from you. They feel like they want to be critical or been criticized something. There's something about critical or criticizing here. Let's go further. How does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. They feel like if there's a friendship here, there may be a friendship, you may be friends, or they want to just be more than friends, or they're concerned about something about friends and family conflict here. Okay, so there's some kind of criticism. And uh, they've been really thinking about this very deeply. Let's get more information here. Let's use, let's use this deck. How does Pisces love the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? How does Pisces love interest feel about Pisces? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's try this deck and see. Okay, they feel like you have their heart. They feel like they want some kind of second chance. They want to come back in. Yeah, definitely strong second chance here. Okay, um, they want this opportunity to reconcile. This person keeps looking at the old memories of the past. They want some kind of renewal of the past. They're looking at these memories and they're feeling like a sense of joy and happiness of the times you guys spent together. This person, there could be a, like a motherly energy here infringing upon this or they may have gotten some advice from an older sister or mother that really shocked and surprised them about it. Your person feels like when the timing is right that they want to heal this connection. Your person wants to take a passionate action towards you, maybe even passionate exercises there with the Knight of Wands energy. 
to try to get your attention. Your person feels that you make them very happy, joyful, and they want to make you happy. Your person feels like there's been some delays and challenges to overcome in the connection. Your person wants to chase you, pursue you. Your person really wants to speak with you, talk with you, reveal a truth to you with the King of Swords energy. They want to say all the right things to you because that's the King of Swords energy. Your person wants to communicate with you. Lots of communication with you, okay. Communication. <laughs> okay, it's definitely you can see your person. If you guys are out of communication with this person, Pisces, this person wants to communicate with you. Literally, how many communication cards? This person's like literally like, I want to speak with you. I want to talk with you. I want to call you. I want to have a conversation with you. I want to write you letters. Okay, let's keep going. And they want you to be shocked and surprised. Okay, so let's keep going so far. We see a friendship, family, and conflict, long-term, lots of thinking when the timing is right to overcome delays and challenges. They want to talk with you. They are trying to be receptive and vulnerable. They feel very vulnerable. They want a second chance. They want an opportunity to heal the situation. They want to chase you um, because they're really shocked. They feel like there's something unexpected. They're feeling very troubled by the situation. Okay, let's keep going here, Pisces. Your person wants a solid commitment with the Four of Wands. Uh, something about a house, home, happy home, marriage, Four of Wands energy. Yep, again, we got a house, the home, family, long-term, stable connection. They really wanna communicate with you about this house, this home. Maybe something about letter, document, paperwork there. Your person feels like you're the wisest decision for them when it comes to long-term romance. Your person wants it to only be you, only you. They want it to be devoted to you. Your person wants you to see how attractive they are sexy and attractive they are okay they want you to see that they have value and worth because they are concerned about some kind of ending stopping completion or taking a break and they want to kiss and make up they want to come back in they want to kiss and make up with you your person it's really feeling a lot of self-doubt, a lot of stress, lots of worry here with the stress card energy coming out. Your person wants to get the truth, wants to speak their truth, wants some type of clarity here. So it's very interesting. It's very clear cut that your person loves you, right? And they want to heal this connection and they want it to be only you. They want a second chance. They want to chase this. They want to go after you and they want some kind of clarity. They want this second chance. They want this opportunity. They want to surprise you and shock you about what's going on with them because they really want clarity answers. Okay. So let's continue to go here. Pisces, your person wants you to make some kind of decision to a pentacles energy. Your person is like, this is something that they've been waiting for. Your person wants this opportunity, clarity, an offer, success. Your person feels lonely, isolated, separated, or wants you to be single and available to pursue. And they're concerned that they're doing a lot of fantasizing. So this person feels like they're fantasizing and they don't know what's real and what's not real. So they want clarity here. Cause if you look and see what's next to it, but the clarity card. Okay. So let's bring it all together. All right. 
I'm, I'm very vulnerable here and I want to heal the situation for it to only be with you. I want a second chance. I'm chasing this for clarity. I want this opportunity for the second chance. I want to be shocked and surprised. I don't want this just to be a fantasy or a daydream. This friends and family situation, when it's time, I want to be more than just friends when it's time. I know it's a wise decision here. This family long-term conflict and delays and challenges cause stress. I've been thinking about this very deeply. I want to talk with you alone. I want, I'm letting you know that I'm going in the right direction. I want to shock and surprise you with this communication. I want to be your main person. I want this happiness. I want to kiss and make up. I know there's been criticism about this money, this abundance, uh, but I, I want this opportunity, this offer. I want the answers. I regret what happened with this mother energy and this house, this family situation. I feel depressed. I want your attention. Your attention has ended. I feel like there's something sly and slick here to get a message to you and it's something I've been waiting for. I feel trapped in my thoughts of the old memories of the past and this house, this home, this marriage, this happy home here, our solid foundation. I just want clarity. I want to take a passionate action towards you. I want you to see my value, my worth of how, uh, you know, the sexiness and the attraction. I want to speak with you again. I want to speak with you about these juggling and making a decision, heavy decision to a pentacles energy. So what are their long-term motives here? What is Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is Pisces love interest? Long-term motives towards Pisces. Romantically. Show me crazy to see. Show me the Pisces. I need to see. So it's family and long-term is their motives. Uh, because they feel this defeated energy, they really want to act fast with the Knight of Wands energy. So something about family and defeat it and needing to act fast because of concerns about walking away. They want to point some things out to you about the chemistry and passion in this connection. They want to gain some type of control over this. This person wants to make sure there's going to be an equal give and take when it comes to a marriage or long-term commitment here. And they want to communicate with you about that. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I say advice for my Pisces when it comes to their love connection for their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so your advice is, do you want to say yes? You've gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom when it comes to this connection and you know it's best for you. It looks like there is some type of form of communication here coming. Do you have feelings for this person? Do you want a relationship? You have more power than what you realize. Get ready to be shocked and surprised and give yourself some time to think about this. Don't make any abrupt decisions with the Scythe card energy. There needs to be something of value and worth and you're gonna to have to make this decision very soon. And so you have to have a clarity of what, what you want. All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, my beautiful darlings, I love hearing from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.